In this video, I will show you a simple unit conversion process that can be applied to all unit conversions. We'll apply it here to the example of converting 3,605 centimeters to inches. First, we need to know our conversion factor, which in this case is 1 inch equals 2.5 centimeters. Note, we have to be sure to use a conversion factor that is as precise or more precise than our starting number. 3,605 centimeters is precise to the ones place. 2.54 centimeters is precise to two decimals. So we're good. First, we write down the number we want to convert with its units. Always keep the units with the numbers. We will turn this number into a fraction over one. 3,605 centimeters over one. Next, we're going to multiply that starting number in fraction form by another fraction, the conversion factor. Remember, one of the rules in math is that we can multiply any number by one without changing the value of that number. A conversion factor is just two equal numbers with different units that when written as a fraction are equal to one. For now, we'll just write in the multiplication operation and the fraction bar for the conversion factor but leave the top and bottom of the fraction empty. Next step, put our equal sign in and the unit we want to end up with on the right. What we're doing here by breaking this process into smaller steps is making sure that we set this conversion up correctly. Specifically, we are checking that the unit we want to get rid of is centimeters and the unit we want to end with is inches. Next, we write in the units for the conversion factor, not the numbers yet. We write the units in such a way to make sure that the unit we want to get rid of cancels and the unit we want to be left with remains. Centimeters in top here and bottom here will cancel. And if we put inches in the top, that will continue onward to give us the answer we want. Next, we're going to add in the numbers from the conversion factor that correspond with those units. Units first, numbers second. Our conversion factor is 1 inch equals 2.5 centimeters. So the number 1 goes with the inches and 2.54 goes with the centimeters. Last step, multiply through and get our result. 3,605 over 1 times 1 over 2.54 equals 1,419.29 inches. Now how many decimals are we allowed to keep? Because centimeters and inches are comparable units, which means they don't vary by an order of magnitude or more, we should round our answer to match the precision of our original number. If we measured our original centimeters to the ones place, then our answer is also rounded to the ones place, 1,419 inches. And that's it, a simple process you can follow in all circumstances. What do we do if we change our unit to something that varies by an order of magnitude or more? Let's look at an example. Let's convert 1,111 feet to miles. Feet and miles do not have comparable magnitudes. We're going to round the answer to match the same number of significant digits as 1,111 feet, which is 4, so our answer should have 4 significant digits. Now let's follow our simple process and apply it to this conversion. We find the conversion factor between feet and miles and write it down. 5,280 feet equals one mile. We'll write down our starting number, 1,111 feet, and then place it over one as a fraction. We multiply it by another fraction that we will leave blank for now. We set up our equal sign, and put miles as our final unit. We return to our conversion factor fraction and put the unit we want to cancel on the bottom, feet, and the unit we want to be left with at the end on the top, miles. Then we return to our conversion factor and place the numbers that match the units into this fraction. 5,280 goes with feet, one with miles. We confirm that our feet cancel and we'll be left with miles. We complete our calculation, 1,111 times 1 over 1 times 5,280, which ends up being 1,111 divided by 5,280. Answer, 
0.210417 miles. Our starting number, 1,111 feet, has four significant digits, so we round our answer to four as well, and end up with 0.2104 miles. Thank you.